Lisa Lamber? Can you hear me? Huh. Oh. I'm I'm on right. Oh hello everybody. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. Okay, let me do one thing real quick. Uh, chat sync. There we go. Okay, awesome. Um, I'm gonna wait here for like maybe five minutes. Let some people like come in, and then we'll start. How's everybody doing? Hope this isn't too early for everyone. I have stuff to do later, so that's why I had to make it at 3 p.m. my time. Hello? I'm good. Hey Swift, hey CSK Meek, Laura, where are you from? 11 p.m. Oh hey, Distace. <laughs> Long time no see. Oh, okay, so there's a delay in uh, in the voice, which is fine. It's cool. I had to figure out how to um make sure that the mic recording and the stream is in sync. Just because I... Because I hate when that stuff... I hate when that stuff gets desynced. Oh, it's 11 p.m. in England. Oh. Oh, there's a bigger time difference than I thought there was. Yeah, tell me about it. Time zones are pretty bad. I mean, like... Well, not bad. Just wish everything was, like, easier to manage. For everybody. Uh, let's see, what time is it? 3.04? 35? Okay, that's fine. We can start. Um, so originally I was wondering whether I should go and start or play from the episodes or start a new story. I think we're gonna start a new story just because I think it'd probably be more fun. I looked it up. I did a lot of um, research on forums last night. It turns out that yes, you can get the best ending by playing from 
last year and just continuing. However, um, you'd have to go through the entire game in once uh, in one playthrough because you can resume. But what's the the point of doing that is that you can keep your items and mementos and stuff. Because if you start a new game, you wipe out everything. But I'm okay with that, so we can just do that. Um, let's see. Before we go into it, somebody wanted me to go over the butterfly stuff. Okay, the goal. The realistic goal. Even if I can't save everybody, is to finish this events of the past thing. That's like, bottom line goal. So, I'll be paying attention to the chat. If you guys know that I'm going to be missing stuff, just yell at me. I'll keep an eye out. Wow, a lot of you are from, uh, what, the Eastern Hemisphere? Cool. Alright. Some things I want to change are I don't want to go through Chris's messages, and I want to do my best to, like, answer things in a manner that's fitting of all the characters. Always, don't mess with the animals. I don't know what the right thing to do with Matt is though, whether confronting people or about like confronting Emily and Mike about their potential cheating or not is a good idea. Yeah. Alright, I don't really know what else to go through here because like I don't know, I don't really care for like knowing too much about the story right away. So, we can start. Oh, my face? Nah, I'm looking too ugly today, Rifoku. <laughs> you guys are on totem duty. Receive a hello. Um, Chao, do you want us to shout hints and stuff regarding choices as you go as well? Yeah, sure. Sure. Um, I'm gonna look over at chat as much as I can. There is a delay, so I'll just wait during the moments I can wait. I won't be able to interact much during the action sequences, though, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna confront Emily about Mike as she's about to die. I wanna see that shit, too. So bad. Glean? No, thank you for watching. Thank you all for tuning in. This is crazy. Um, I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of your names also. I recognize a lot of your names from YouTube. I don't recognize everybody's names so Yeah. Uh, today, Nom Misting, I'm gonna be playing for two hours. I have stuff to do at 5. Or it's 3 p.m. right now. I have stuff to do at 5 so I can stream for about two hours. And tomorrow, I'm gonna go as long as I can. Like me, I can I can sit and play a video game for a long time, so... Maybe six hours tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see. You guys get tired of me sooner than, you know, just bail out. It's cool. Webcam or Riot? <laughs> oh man, I, I want- it's really hot today, I wanna play... My underwear. Did Beth die in the beginning? Yeah, Beth dies no matter what. Alright, let's go for it. New story. Let's go time. Uh, yeah, that's fine. This is my first time on Twitch ever. Well, my first time streaming on Twitch ever. So this will be an experience. I like 
Beth, too. It's too bad we know nothing about her, really. Oh, gonna come out. It's lagging for you? The stream's in 720. Just because I, I really like having the best quality I can. I'm sorry. It's the yoga pants. <laughs> Everyone's dressed so different, it's so weird. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl. <laughs> just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, um, I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. This is so ironic. Looking out for my girl Emma, that's so ironic. weekend. Josh. Okay, Swift 17. Um so she's confrontational with Matt in the mines only if we don't side with her. So we got to make conflict between the two of them. Okay. We can do that. If you want to see what happens when I side with M, you can watch the playthrough. I side with I make the boyfriend side with the girlfriends and vice versa during my playthrough. I don't know if Mixing and matching would do anything. We'll see. We'll get there. I do question- C Laura, she wanted to get it on, dude. Have you seen Mike's face? Come on. I would take off my shirt. Okay. Can I look so damn hot in that shirt? Man, shit. I can't- I don't think Mike wrote this at all. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Who? Who's the one who actually like came up with the plan though, I wonder. There's Chris. Here is Josh. I think that was this the same thing? No. Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. How she can noodle with a candle in one hand. <laughs> Got your note. Glad you can make it. He's so happy. <laughs> Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, damn. You guys are jerks. You know that? Hannah! Alright, time for the first big decision. Uh, I think I chose... Okay. Wake Josh up. I chose to find the others, I think? Josh! Josh! I don't know, it's been a while. Fuck. <laughs> I wonder if that's gonna do anything. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? I 
It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Maybe you should cut off your fingers oh, again. Shit. Oh. Let's go fast. Ooh. <laughs> and so the quick time events begin. Mm, let's see, follow the noise or follow the footprints. Uh, let's just go with footprints. I don't I don't remember my previous choices. I'm just gonna take a guess. This is new. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Oh, this is new. Damn it, Hannah! Where are you? Hey, little panda. <laughs> uh, let's see. Every, the Emily thing is apparently related to the choice you make when Emily and Jess are having a blank fight. Just like the one time you didn't get Matt to side with this girl. Oh! There was a. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's so. Like, I, I really don't remember the little choices anymore. I just remember getting the characters killed. That's what sticks around in my brain. <laughs> Why would you follow noises? Because it's fun. Hello? Hello? Hello, Master Zangat. Totem. Almost missed that. Alright, check out the little details here. Like, really check them out. Like, it shows Beth dying, but it never showed Hannah dying, you know? Like, Beth has her back snapped, but you only see, like, Hannah, like, kind of, like, knocked out unconscious with her eyes open. It's not a confirm. Yeah. There's a stranger guy. Super close though. What the Shit. Hell was that? Oh, quick question. Anna. Let Anna. go? What? Or Anna. Like let her sister oh go God, to be pulled up by the dude or just Here, drop. Take my coat. What do you guys want? I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna? Ouch. 
Yeah, see? Not a confirmed death from Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> Leave that stupid girl. <laughs> Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Oh. Every single choice. You guys met let go of. Fate, oh, okay. You guys met let go of Hannah. You. Fuck. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, <laughs> you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? Okay. And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it or essential. the choices it during um, honestly in order the sequences the with Dr. Hill, I'll let you all pick the experience that you want. So, just get this is gonna take a little time, but go for it. Chat it up. Let me know what you want. So, <laughs> welcome to the jinx side of the Make you feel. Remember, be honest. Happy or uneasy? Honestly, Dr. Hill is probably my favorite character of this game. He's the actor, I think his name is Peter Stormare. Uh, I really like him. I saw him in Fargo, and he, he played a um, killer for hire. It was really interesting. <laughs> Why don't you restart the game and save everyone? <laughs> Happy, okay, makes me happy. Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? <laughs> the sunshine, it's peaceful. Oh. Okay. I'll I'll just go with opposite as a, like a basic rule of thumb for almost everything. Let's go with the sunshine. I like it. Go with the sunshine. Sunshine. <laughs> I see. So which word would best describe how you feel about darkness? <laughs> I feel depressed. <laughs> Winter nights, a cold and dark depression, feelings of loneliness are not uncommon. This night in which your game takes place is particularly cold and dark. I would think that you might feel isolated at times. Does that bother you? Does it, everyone? I uh, meant to ask Xiao, have you tried the motion controls instead of the stick? I found them pretty fun to use. Oh, I haven't actually. I, I'm going with the um the stick again this time. I don't know, I'm kind of worried that like getting used to motion controls back and forth would make me twitch during the um during the keep still sequences and we all know how that ends. Uh, yes it does. Yes it does. Oh, well, in that case, this game might be a little challenging for you. Still, there's an opportunity for you here to engage with the others, connect with them, before you start to split them up, before you isolate them. Oh, well, it seems we have uncovered 
some significant topics to explore in our next session. But for now, we're out of time. Have fun on your own. Until then. Until dawn. I'm, once again, I'm very, very impressed by this, like, sequence of conversations with Dr. Hell. Like, now that we know that we're playing as Josh as the Psycho, it's just so well set up, you know? It's so well framed. Really impressive. Dr. Hill makes you depressed, master, <laughs> until dink. You should try for the first chapter so the decisions aren't- You know what, I'll do that, yeah. Once this intro is over, I'll switch to motion controls real quick, just to test them out. I am depressed. Yeah, so depressed, dude. So loneliness. Well, what is this that I can see? With ice cold hands taking hold of me. When God is gone and the devil takes hold, who will have mercy on my soul? Oh, death, oh, death, consider <laughs> one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, can we talk about spoilers in this chat? Yeah, the sure. Anniversary of the mysterious I'm under the assumption that everybody he here has seen somebody play well, hello, this game. So go fans. ahead. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my I know, fellow I back let Sam to die. the annual Blackwood Winter I Getaway. I ah! <laughs> So, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I yeah, know my leg twitch like, like on really it did. Going back you know when you get really nervous and you get really antsy, year, and you like the the feeling of like needing to like I just want you all to urinate know, comes up, um, but you hold it in, it so you squeeze, but you squeeze too hard and it twitches. That it didn't happen, so but my leg twitched. That we're doing this, and I uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time Josh, with the, each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Aw, oh, so cute, so adorable. So awkward. Well, Swift, eight minutes until dawn. Oh, that's so sad. I really hope that doesn't happen to me, but it probably will. <laughs>
You, you guys need a quote system? Oh man. Oh man. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. See? Consider it. Okay, gotta remember that Sam is considerate. I don't need to write these down, I don't think, because I got you guys, and I can just go into the menu. Hello? Someone there? Alright, let's roll. So the dude with the machete is obviously the stranger. But I've never really noticed his clothes that all that much. Oh, one second. Settings. Control options. Motion. Alright, cool. Let's test this baby out. See if it's any fun. Again, if I'm missing clues or totems, start, start screaming at me. <laughs> I'll, I'll take a look at chat as much as I can. What? <sighs> Damn it. Rattle the cage just in case. Shake it. That's kind of cool. Oh, Jesus, never mind. That's kind of cool. I got that, That's kind of cool. Uh, safe. How do it? Hmm. Oh, and then X. Oh no! Ah, oh, shit. Whoa! Whoa! Ah, uh, climb, and then X. Okay, got it. That is kind of fun, but it's a, it adds one more button press to the equation which will probably end up tripping me tripping me up pretty bad during the quick time events we'll see what happens okay as far as I know there are no clues here just a totem you hungry huh cutie Save Sam. I'm gonna try my best. If if you kill someone, are you going to restart your PS4? Uh yeah, I, I learned about that option. You can like close the application real quick before the autosave happens. If you all are okay with it, I'll do it. Like, I don't care. I already played it once and I got the result that I got. We can just go for a perfect run this time, even if we cheese it. I don't mind. It's up to you. It would definitely suck if I played this entire thing and like lost somebody at the end. That'd be terrible. <laughs> cool. Alrighty. Got one more. Wait. Hello? What? Okay. That was weird. That was weird. Was that some kind of lag? Rotate the totem. Kind of cool. Alright. About to hit one of my favorite parts. Chris's introduction definitely was a lot of fun. Let's check out the door first before we go and like mess with his phone though. All the way up here. Cheating the system saves lives. Yeah, you right. You right. Let's do that. Let's cheat the system. Cool. We're all in this together now. I got proof. Chris, are you here? That's not even a clue. Okay, let's check the back. 
uh, the firing range before we activate Chris's backpack thing. This game is definitely designed for more than one playthrough for sure. Grab this clue. We've all seen it already. Oh man, look at this. Alright, so apparently this this Victor Milgram guy might just be a story that Josh made up. Am I correct in saying that? Huh. Okay then. Yeah, this time we won't snoop through Chris's phone. I'm gonna do a different. I'm. It's definitely some left, like residual like player experience from Life is Strange. You just gotta check out everything. Cause Max is a fucking snoop. So am I. Okay, check out the backpack. Max here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Oh, don't snoop. Jesus. Maybe I shouldn't poke around Chris's stuff. Chris! Sam! Hey, you made it! Sup, sup buddy? Methodical, protective, and humorous. Alright. Oh, so... I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. This is episode 5 of Life is Strange. <laughs> Which character is Max then? comes to mind why is this even here what do you mean w what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge uh dude have you ever met josh's dad yeah he thinks he's like grizzly adams or something wanna try uh now you go ahead grizzly what i want to know is like All right. why there's a rifle here sitting here randomly and why josh didn't take it with him Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, motion controls for aiming, whoa. Okay, I can't, I can't use this. I, I definitely can't not use this. I, I would definitely die during the Wendigo scene. Wow, nice shooting ticks. All right. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm a badass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. Go for this bottle. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. And not shoot this poor little squirrel. Unless I want to be evil. Nah. Nice shot. Yeah, Chris's nice dancing is the best. Hey, sharpshooter, ride some. And has Max Caulfield. Hey, <laughs> Come on, Chris, the cable car. All right. No other clues, to my knowledge. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that? What people? 
I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Swift 17, yeah. Um, I guess I'm just really old fashioned with the joystick controls. The only other PS4 Destiny game I've played oh, is real. Destiny. De didn't really use motion controls all that much. I'm just an old fogey. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? Not that long, no worries. What a crazy place to set up house. You can't seem to get out of this no menu. No matter how rich you are. I'm not so rich. I only bought a mountain. Ah, I see. Okay. Caught a glimpse of him now. And I think that was it, right? Yeah. That was everything we could do in here. Good timing. Finally. You coming? Yeah, well, I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but... Okay. Bye, Lisa Lambert. Have a good night. Just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right. Adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years <laughs> early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Good on you, Jeannie Simmons. Hi, Timo. Oh yeah, you're right. Kind of come. Up. This must be automated or something. I didn't even know automated cable cars existed. Unless you know they're operating it themselves. Confident, trusting, irreverent. Trusting. Oh boy, oh boy, okay. oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. I don't know why she said new people. She was there last year, correct? What the hell? Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Irrelevant. Please? <laughs> oh, God. I should have checked the outside area before I walked over here. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Hear that, ladies? Uh -huh. All muscle. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! 
Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Oh, uh... Nah, I, she's she's pretty in your face. Let's go with them, sis. Give that back. Give that back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's oh, my cool. motto. Thanks, oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. You can totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Little to just know that Mike won't be There's coming tonight. The cable car uh -huh. <laughs> Chow, assign me a character and play me. <laughs> Refoku, you're gonna be Emily. Yeah. Intelligent. Resourceful, persuasive, Refoku. <laughs> I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Anyone want to be Matt? Motivated, ambitious, and active? No. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <laughs> okay, okay, let's go. Uh, God. <laughs> Getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> Did that get any of you again a second time? Mike is intelligent, driven, and persuasive. You guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Cool. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Threaten him? Welcome him? I'm leaning towards threaten him. Swift 17, yeah, sure you can be Ashley. I hope I don't kill you. You guys want peace? Okay. Michael, I'm just gonna lay it out, otherwise this whole weekend's gonna suck ass for everyone. Um, this is super awkward, and we all know it. Let's just uh, acknowledge it now and move on, okay? Matt. I hear you, man. I get it. I don't wanna make this weird. Cool. So we're good? All good. You guys gonna make out now? Oh my god, totally. We're so gonna make out. Uh, no. Seriously, I'm gonna go check on the cable car back down the trip. All right. See you, man. See ya. All right. See ya. Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah, all the bags. Um, uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. It's really Ugh. can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. This girl. This girl. Gonna drive me insane. All right, fine. 
If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. <laughs> that would be kind as bad. He's a pure cinnamon roll. Excuse me? <laughs> Hold them more even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. As I wait, Matt looks like he's tilting his own head. <laughs> yeah. Alright, here's Ashley. Inquisitive and forthright. Oh, very forward. Okay, so I think it was okay to, to let Matt see... See, um... Mike and Emily, right? Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. You ready for it? Oh! oh God. <laughs> oh. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Louise, what? Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. Oh yeah, something really juicy. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch! Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. Matt. Yeah, I think Ash, Sam, and Chris are huge, huge sweethearts, too. Like, um... The high drama characters are so annoying. Girl, I'm make. I uh, kind of want to make her read a book, but she's probably the type to play with her phone. Like the high drama characters are really annoying, but you need them for a story you like this. You did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? That's really fucking... Oh, let's grab... You know, do something different. I, well, I don't know when you put it like that. Hey! <laughs> okay, yeah. Oh! <laughs> great. Hey, you know that? <laughs> I really like this song. Where are by you the way. hiding, little? I swear to God, these two are the type to play role play when they're like. Oh! Too ah, bad. I... Hey! Oh snap! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Come on! Mmm. Oh, yes. Hey, Mike! Boom! Okay. <laughs> no, you got me. Okay. <laughs> you can't hide from me, Michael. I know all your tricks. Sometimes I feel really technology enough because like new fancy technology like the motion controls kind of trip me up pretty bad. Right in the face. Whoa! Ow! Oh. Right. Just... And then what? Oh, oh! No more! Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> uh. <laughs> gotcha! Done! Done city. Whoa. So did I go down? If I hit the uh, bird... I don't think so. <laughs> an icicle would have hit us? That's crazy. <laughs> Alright. Alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor, then? You're a worthy opponent. Miss Jessica, the snowball queen. All right. Okay. I'll let you all pick. You want to dirty. make out with Mike's face? My lady. Oh, hurry up! 
Hurry up! Let's go with this one. Dun City Boys. Oh! We should get up to the lodge. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice out here, that's though. That's fascinating. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Well, dude, doing nothing wasn't my intention, but brought a slightly different mood to the situation all like it entirely. Like she's kinda nervous about her plans to fuck tonight. Mm. Yeah, I, I did miss it. I didn't press anything fast enough. Sorry y'all. Oh again. Not gonna make out with Mike. And how are we feeling? Hmm? Well, I, I trust that you have stayed in the company of good friends since our last session. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book. Okay. Turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. I'll let you all pick. If you don't care, no need to say anything. But if you do, let me know. Let's make out the. Sh I kind of want to make out with the shrink, dude. It's a handsome mofo. <laughs> yeah. I like him, he's a really good actor. Yeah, people worry me too. Okay, are we afraid of dicks? Or are we afraid of vaginas? Dicks can poke us. Vaginas can consume us. But we came out of one, I don't know. What do you guys want? Women's <laughs> I think I flipped the coin last time, right? Don't remember what it was. I think it was dudes. Let's go with girls. Last time I said crowds, I'll say planes this time. Stormer? Stormer? How do you pronounce it correctly? Heights are drowning. Yeah, the vagina monster? Yeah. Or that thing that looked like a gigantic thing. Let's go with everything different. Knives or guns? Guns are scary. Actually, hmm. I wonder what this changes. Cause I know Jess in my first playthrough just stabbed Josh with the a pair of scissors. I wonder if that changes. Oh, sorry. Like, I started going um, a little faster just because I kind of want to get through this part. And um, there's a delay in the chat, I guess. So I just went with everything that's different from my first playthrough. I want to see snakes. Let's, still, let's see a bunch of snakes. Alright, this one for sure. I'll wait around.
Stormer, huh? That's a pretty badass name. If you guys have any opinions on whether it should be clowns or scarecrows, just let me know. I'll wait a minute. Clowns? Yeah, I picked clowns the first time. Going scarecrow might be more interesting for the second playthrough. But I'll just go with the uh, boats. I keep forgetting that this is a stream and I'm allowed to, like, you know, take up some time. Like, I'm so used to doing, like, playthroughs and everything just goes, like, like clockwork. Scarecrows, scarecrows, two to two. Next vote wins. Oh, that's three, like, one after the other. Three, three now. I don't know what changes when I pick scarecrows, really. Probably just, like, the mask that's on Sam's fake body that was hanging. The traps and stuff. Yeah, I think, like, the little jump scares might change from a clown to a scarecrow, but I'm not sure. Let's see, clown, scarecrow, scarecrow, clown, scarecrow. Okay, scarecrows it is. Crows or gore? I think I picked gore last time. I don't know what I would find more impressive though. Huge flocks of scarecrows or huge amounts of gore? It's mayonnaise a choice. <laughs> The gore looks kind of like mayonnaise, you know, just spicy mayo, like just a glob of it. Crows, okay. Oh, did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. I wonder who, if he was that aggressive with Josh originally, or if that's just Josh's imagination. <laughs> there might be something wrong with my mayo. I think we'll be seeing guts regardless of crows or not. <laughs> so my mayo really isn't spicy at all. <laughs> uh spiders are creepy, snakes scare me. I totally forgot which one I went with last time. I don't remember seeing any spiders, but then I don't remember seeing any snakes either to be honest. I don't really know. Solid snake? Alright then. I think I've learned something new about myself. It's whoever types first. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Last time we I chose needles. And Josh was carrying around a needle. I think that's a really... Kind of a derpy... Uh, psycho weapon. So I'm good with crows. It'd be really badass to see him like carry a bunch of crows with him everywhere. Right, the the scene with the pig, zombies or scarecrows. Yeah, yeah. Um, the mayor's American accent is a little awkward, but I don't really, I don't really buy it that he's American. Like whenever he acts, I always assume that his character is a little bit of a like um just like a naturalized American or something. Zombies? Zombies it is, okay.
dogs or crows? Since I've been going crows, let's just go with crows to the end. I want to see what happens. Crows are, again, crows are scary. <laughs> Even though they're not. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Snakes, zombies, and crows. <laughs> the sun combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, well, well, well. well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon. But then again, I've always, I've only seen Stamir in like weird, like, roles that he's kind of a weird person, so. The pausing, the pausing just kind of sells it. Don't you guys think, oh, come on, she deserves it. Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It was just a prank, Han. Oh, pet crows? Like, like his office is just full of crows? That'd be fun. That'd be fun to see. First off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. I really want to spend some quality time with each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For Yeah, Dr. Hill's laugh is really creepy. Sister. I really like it. I need to go find Sam. It's great. It's like the perfect mix of like so weirdness. Yeah. And next to John. You want to trust him. Met. Boom. Butterfly effect. Man, how am I climbing? Oh yeah. That feels the same to me. Oh, Josh. Complex, thoughtful, and loving. Complex. Definitely complex. Come on, you grew up here. It probably feels like it's shrinking. I guess that's true. When are you gonna install some cell towers up here? I'm getting withdrawals already. You got a spare million lying around, I, I'll fix you right up. Funny you should say that. I, I think I left it in my other jacket. Oops. Hey guys, get up here okay? Yeah. Well, more or less, but it is so good to see you. What's up with him? Matt, don't look too happy. Yo, yo, we get things moving up here or what? Yeah, man. Um, he's a very concerned guy, right? Matt, or honest, charitable, funny, brave, romantic, curious. Oh, dang! Can't see the traits. Dang. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Let's go with. What? You doing okay? Hey, you doing alright? I mean, I know it must be really tough without your sister. Stop. I just meant that- No, I know what you meant. You know, seriously, I'm over it. And I just I want us to have a good time, you know? Like we always used to. Damn it. It's a freaking thing. It's iced. What else? Maybe there's another way in. There are a million ways in. They're just all locked. There's gotta be like a window around the corner we can get like, get open or something. Wait a second, are you saying we should break in? <laughs> I don't think it's technically breaking in if you own the place, right? Hey, not if I don't report you. Um, <laughs> lead the way, coaches. Cool. Um, if you don't flirt with Jessica, she will keep her clothes on when being taken away. Hey, Ash. Oh. Hi, Chris. Hey, Ash. Uh, what's up, girl? So, how are you doing? Good, but a little cold. I think I could use some time curled up by the fire. Yeah, that does sound pretty <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, th uh, thank you, Minna. And thank you, Swift. I'm gonna go explore down the path. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, there we go. I'm pretty sure I missed this. Did I? 
Is this gonna be new? Oh, oh tilt it. Ah! Never mind, it's old. Oh, and before I forget, I should probably change the motion controls back to what I'm used to. There we go. I'm no good with fancy technology. What is this? Matt! Oh! Been a while. Rough season, huh? Yeah. Something like that. Um... You okay, man? Hey, you okay, man? Some people, you know? You think you know them? Okay. Oh god, so awkward. This is... Oh man, that is... That is awkward. Oh! See Nash yet? Um, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. How's, uh... How's she doing? She's fine. Whoa. Why? No reason. Oh my god, Sammy. Oh my god, does she have a thing for Chris? Oh! Oh god! Oh man! Oh my- Oh man- Ow! That's gotta hurt so bad! Oh, dude! Oh, thank you both for telling me to go back this way. Oh, that's so good. Oh, their chemistry is just so good, too. I think Sam's chemistry with Chris is a lot better than Chris's, Chris's like chemistry with Ash. Oh man! Nice. Wow, legit. Legit. Ashley was looking pretty hot today, right? She's like a sleeper hit kind of gal, you know? And I just want to rip that parka right off of her and make some snow angels, right? Mmm. What would Chris say? Probably to knock it out. Hey, cut it out, man. Yeah, I mean... If you're not gonna bang her, maybe Michael take up the case. Wait, will you back off already? Relax. Just checking to see if there's some blood flowing down there. Yeah. Listen, dude, look around you. Look at these beautiful mountains. Do you see any parents? I mean, can you imagine a more perfect, ripe scenario just dripping with erotic possibilities? You and Ashley alone at last. You've laid all the groundwork. You've been a perfect gentleman. Now, you come in for the kill! <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Like, I don't know, man. How can you not know? What if it's, like, weird? And what if she, she might, like, want to be friends yeah, with Yeah, the cringe is real. If I try something like that. I mean, weren't you just listening? You gotta buck up, bro. Grow up here. That conversation right there made me question how old these... These characters were. I was surprised to find out they're like 19, so how 20. On breaking into my parents' lodge, bud? So young. I didn't say I had a plan. You sounded like you had but a they plan. They look so old. You better deliver, coaches, or else you got four lovely ladies who are going to be freezing their buns off. And last time I checked, that's not a good way to get laid. Oh shoot! Nobody likes cool buns. All right, so coaches, right? I don't know Chris's real last name, it might be Cochise, or it might be some kind of reference to a band called Audio Slave, whose frontman is a man named Chris Cornell, and one of their popular songs is called Cochise. I just gotta turn off my GPS. I'm finally like outside, or I might actually use it. Can you cool it on the phone, Tom? What? Why? It's pretty much all you talk about. Well, you know, I mean, I could do all this stuff and... Well, you got an app that can get us into the lodge? Nope. Got an app that can get you laid? Well, actually, dude, there's this... you don't. The answer is that you don't. Oh, uh, do you guys really talk like that? Seriously, I'm asking. Sometimes I do, but it's not ever really serious. Like it's it's more like trolling my homies. Hmm. But I only say those things because I've seen them in movies and TV and stuff. Just to be a just just a fuck around. <laughs> Okay, so the axe was missing. From this angle, it looked like it was still there. Well, 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 we got ourselves a thinker. Nice one. 
But it's never been to the same degree that Josh has said that. That makes me even like that makes me even cringe. Even if he intended it to be a joke. It's really awkward. attention in climbing class. You mean Jim? Yeah, you know, with the climbing up the rope. Whoa. D did I do that? I, d I don't think so. Here, use this. Whoa, Chris, I just got an awesome idea. Yeah? Totally. W w what is it? Okay, so... I'm pretty sure that I've got some deodorant in one of the bathrooms. You could use that with the lighter. I, I don't follow. How's, it, how's a stick of deodorant going to help? Spray on. It's a can. Oh, yeah. Now I got gotcha. you. Flamethrower. Just like we do with the little army dudes. Yep. Ones we melted. Just point the spray can in the lighter and whoosh. Bye-bye, frozen lock. Bingo. All right, so you got this. I'm gonna go sort something out. You up for hunting around in the dark for a little bit? Nope, but I'll do it. Godspeed, Pilgrim. <laughs> that was a John Wayne reference. So the Destiny file updated. Like, I'll, I'll share one of my, like, a fear I have with, like, doing these gameplay videos. Like, one, I'm just so scared one, one day one of my friends is gonna send me something really, really stupid right on stream. All right, during a recording, and there's no way I can hide it. <laughs> That's one way Em can die. Found that totem before. Um, Chow, do you play much Destiny? I used to when it first came out. That's why I got it. But I had a lot of fun with it. But I'm just not very interested in it anymore. I mean, like once you get to once you hit level 20, it's just becomes it kind of gets like. Diablo where the end game is just finding better and better gear and you need better and better gear in order to like participate so what have we here? in end game content like um, the strikes so yeah I don't play much anymore although the new hunter um, the hunter gets a bow and the Titan, which is the class that I played, gets a fucking hammer. That's pretty sick. Oh, you never played it? Okay. Send a message like, yeah, yeah, see, like, if, like, if, like, one of my buddies were to say, like, yo, some strippers be coming soon, I would just be like, fuck, okay, gotta go. Okay. Huh. I'm pretty sure I, I scoured the entire cool. house before. But just in case we're gonna do it again and try to be as quick as I can this time. Huh? Oh. What the hell was that? Josh no it's Josh and his switches. Not yet. Oh, whoops. I already forgot the layout of the lodge. Let's see. There's the front entrance. Don't want to go out there yet. Like, honestly, this place isn't that big. It's just. Though so navigating it's still kind of, kind of weird. Hmm. And, um, I think when we went to the cabin with Mike and Jess, I could have explored a bit more of it and, what's, what's it called, found more clues, but since I passed the opportunity, um, and the phone came through the window, I missed those. So it is about timing.
A uh, message on the answering machine? Okay. Where is the answering machine? Like, what floor is it on? <laughs> Nothing here. It's a room opposite to the TV. Cool, thank you. I think that was all right. This, yeah, this door is locked. Okay. Let's go get the answer machine before I forget. In a room opposite to the TV. Whoops. I think it was this room. Uh, was it here? Here? No, this is a photo. Oh! Since we're in here... These paintings, did they change? No, I don't, I don't remember. It might have been just because the lights came back on. I thought those paintings might have changed during the time that um, Josh was the psycho. But I guess not. The lights must have just turned back on. Oh shit, is this a Oh, I've never even been in here! Whoa! There it is. One new message. New message. Hi, Mrs. Washington. This is Sergeant Tate again. It's bad news, I'm afraid. Yeah, we've been through the case files, and there's nothing we can do. He's a free man. We don't have the legal power to restrict his movement. Uh, I know it's not what you wanted to hear, so call me if you want to know more. End of messages. Okay. Oh, uh, that was what, from a long time ago? A long, long time ago. Oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. That character, Victor Milgram, was made up. That was Josh, wasn't it? Yeah, I think he just called the lodge to set up that, that fake message. Yeah, that's totally him. Hi, Mona. Hey, Mona. Nice. Cool. Thank you for letting me know about that. That is... that is cool. I keep pointing the lighter down on Chris's crotch. Because, you know, gotta protect the family jewels, keep them warm. And... Hey, there is nothing in this... oh. The TV. Shh. Power's out, obviously. Nothing much else. Let's see, I think that was everything in this room. Yeah, sorry about this. These are the scenes I usually cut out during the playthrough. Like, this is, like, this is me. <laughs> me playing a game. <laughs> Tusted nuts. Nuts taste better when they're toasted, yo. Like, 
peanuts, almonds, always taste better when they're toasted. Gotta keep your nuts toasty. Was there one in here? Oh, this is the path to the bathroom. I don't think the twins' door is open yet. The reason why I'm going through the house right now is that so we don't have to do it later. A little bit of time invested right now means that playing as future characters just will be a little bit quicker. just have a poor memory or something. Like, it wasn't that long ago since my last playthrough. I don't know why I'm just forgetting all these. Okay. Yeah, so it was that way. My bad. Cool, let's go get that spray and finish up this little Christine. Not much happening right now. And no new clues over here, I don't think. No, this area was just... There's a lot of places in this cabin, this lodge, to lounge around. Like, the, the sheer amount of, like, single chair sofas they have here is impressive. Okie dokie. One quick look. N nothing. Get ready for it. Buns off out here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll, I'll be here all week. <laughs> ah, crap, that thing freaked me out. What was it? Are you okay? It's like a bear or tiger or something. Oh, it was just a cute little baby Wolverine. Baby? Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be a big boy soon. Yeah, I want to see crows and snakes, too. I know for sure there was a ton of cockroaches. Home, sweet home. Sweet is not the word I Oh my god, Matt, you're oh so gosh. depressing oh, right now. Inside. Even if it's still kind of freezing in here. I'll get a fire going. This place barely looks any different. Yeah, nobody's been up here. Even with all the police coming in and out? N not a lot of action up here lately. Nope. What's up, party people? Hi. Hey. Make yourself at home, bro. We'll do. Yeah. Come on in. Take a load off. Have whatever you want. You just take whatever you want anyway, right? Whoa. All right. Easy there, cowboy. So like. Matt is obviously, you know, the supportive boyfriend and all, but the way he's currently acting makes me think that he wants to, like, start some shit, dude. Like, I don't know. Like, Jesus. Uh, challenge, I saw you on M. You know what? Let's just warn him. That's, like, the less confrontational thing to do, and I don't think Matt's super confrontational. I want him to be, though. Mike, stay away from our girlfriend. Dude, what are you talking about? Stay away from Emily. Emily? Why would I want anything to do with Emily? Um... You know what, just forget it. Right. 
Right. What's the fuck going on with you, man? Forget it. I lost my head. It's been a long day. Yeah. Well, try not to lose it again. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure about that. Yeah, I'll be ch like I'll be as nice as I can, but man, it's like he's so conflicted. Like, oh my god, that is so gross. <laughs> Are you trying to swallow his face whole? Yeah. I mean, seriously, can she be any more obvious? No one wants in on your territory, honey. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you <laughs> not hear me? Was your sluttiness too loud? <laughs> Sounds like someone's bitter she didn't make the cut. Yeah, it's all a big cattle call with that dreamboat. Congrats, you're top cow. Cuts real deep calling Miss Homecoming a cow. Oh my god, dude. Like, it's so ironic that the beginning, Jess was all like, she's looking out for my girl, M. God damn, dude. God damn. Mm. Let's just chill, yo. Em, come on. No, shut up, Matt. Stay out of it, you dumb oaf. Hey, watch it. Oh, you're the only one who could put him down? No one else can play with your toys? You're such a bitch. Whatever. I don't give a crap what you think. At least I can think. 4.0, bitch. Honor roll. Suck on that when you're trying to sleep your way into a job. Who needs grades when you've got all the natural advantages you can handle? Oh, please. You couldn't buy a moldy loaf of bread with your skanky ass. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you think that's insulting? That bitch is on crack or something. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, stop! It's fucking funny. This is out of hand. There's no reason to fight like this. Yeah, Em. Why you? Oh, defend fight your girlfriend. Your Fuck. Huh? Stop it. This Fuck. I mean, defend your girlfriend. Up here. This Fuck. This is not helping. It's not what I wanted. We can't get along for 10 minutes, and maybe we need a little bit of a break, right? Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. Yeah, all right. You wanna go do like, that? I guess I'm a little weird, because, like... Place without that whore. It, it's I kept right on going the with the lesser of the... The less aggressive of the two options, which is always to try to defuse M. Glad that's over. I guess, uh... Yeah. Be nice to M probably be the smarter thing so, to do. So, Josh, uh... Should we get this fire going? Oh, but where's my bag? Huh? My bag, the the little bag with the pink pattern, the one I got on Rodeo. Matt, are you are you listening? Oh my God, don't you remember next to the Italian shoe place where I got the stilettos and you knocked over the rack while you were drooling all over that girl at the counter? Well, I mean, she was asking about my letter jacket. Right, because she gave a shit about your designer letter jacket. Why do you hate my jacket? Matt, I need my bag. Oh my god, Em, you, maybe you just forgot it. Do you seriously think I'd forget my bag? Whoa. Well, do I you? Guess not. You must have left it down by the cable car station. <sighs> Come on, hon. We'll be back soon. And then we can get warm. We can get very warm. Okay. But if I keep destroying their relationship, okay, then maybe she'll confess about Mike. Okay, I'm gonna go take a bath. It's okay. I kind of like that Emily is a bitch. <sighs> Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Because if she's gonna be a bitch, she better be a major bitch for me to be How entertained. Far is this cabin anyway this cabin is the coziest most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon <laughs> if we ever make it i have a feeling luck's on our side play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky <laughs> hey porn stars you're gonna need these porn star i'd pay to see it uh gross hey i'm sorry to kick you out like that no worries man Oh, I'm sure you'll find a way to entertain yourselves. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I think Josh was flirting with me. Okay. You want to invite him up with us? Wait, really? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> this chat. <laughs> this fucking chat. Chat is hilarious. 
I think Josh would be adorable if he wasn't crazy, yeah. I agree with you. I wonder if it was his plan to separate these two or if he was just like opportunistic about it. Hey hot lips! Photo booth? Alright, read my mind. Alright, get ready for one of the most awkward parts of this game. Jess's Jess's okay. face. Look at this girl. Her selfie game is so weak. Look at her. Not even looking at the camera. Like girl. Look at the camera. Jesus fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> this is perfect. We're like the cutest couple. Damn. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy and maybe I'll let you start my portfolio at the cabin. Wink. Noted. Crop just out. Yeah, I think she like kind of cropped herself out right at the end there. Burr, it is freezing out here. Now that's something I can help you with. And how are you gonna do that? Uh, I got a few things in mind. Yeah, one thing in mind. Yeah. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see here. Starting to make Matt an asshole, sort of. Wonder if I should make Mike an asshole too. Emily's as dumb as she looks. If she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on, God, maybe this if girl. lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Um, what do you all want? You want to destroy both of these relationships? Jess better get fucked. She's gonna get fucked, dude. Don't worry about it. No matter what happens, she's gonna get like pretty, pretty messed up. Disagree? Hey, all right, disagree. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's a handful. But maybe ease up on her. She's still kind of torn up from being dumb. Oh. Uh, hello. Not my problem, Mike, and not yours either. Oh, dude, so Mike dumped Emily. Uh, I... I understand now. Alright, so which one? Defend Emily or agree with Jess? I think if we keep siding with Emily, we're not going to see Jess naked. But it might be funny to destroy both of these relationships steadily. <laughs> Just no one, no one's going to be happy at the end. Oh fuck, then I guess I gotta I gotta I gotta side with Jessica then. Uh yeah. How's it my fault? She doesn't understand what beat it you skank means. <laughs> yeah. Like a crack a dictionary much biatch. Jesus, so aggressive, God. Alright. So I guess the breakup was kinda fresh. Kinda recent. That must be what's like the reason behind like Jessica planning to like have sex with Mike for the first time during this camp, like this lo winter lodge trip. It also explains a lot why Emily is so so aggressive towards uh, Jessica. All right, let's see. Push the button. Boom! Nice one, Mikey. Nice, Mikey boy. Woo! You are a wizard! <laughs> oh, Mike's a wizard. You become a wizard when you're what, like I think a 40 or 50 year old virgin? Zam! The 
gates shall open. Pretty good, right? Yeah, totally. That was just awesome. Oh, yeah. I bring the hit. <laughs> you psyched yet? <laughs> you don't look psyched yet. I am so psyched right now. <laughs> it's like a little adventure, <laughs> a sexcapade. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't a clue. How do I unban somebody? I actually clicked some buttons. <laughs> God, I did. I was doing something in a side window and uh totally missed out on that. I can't go back, huh? Yeah, dang. I think it was when she was talking about the police tape. Was that right? Distractions, distractions. Damn. I don't think we can get up to the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, no way am I going back to the lodge, aka wax museum, to drink hot chocolate with Emily. Ah! Ah! Jess! Fuck! Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey! I'm okay! Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. I didn't think I felt. Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I... Uh, I don't know. I can hardly see anything down here. Hmm. I'll jump down. It's cool. Alright, coming after you. Just stay put. <laughs> Want to help me move this cart thing? So I've been noticing that when I make like a poor decision or like a decision at a character, there's like a sharp, unpleasant sound that plays. Right. It's basically a game telling you, yeah, you done fucked up. Uh, I imagined us grunting together. This is not what I pictured. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that romance was perfect. She did get beat up, like, messed up pretty bad. <laughs> Speaking of that though, I'm guessing all the options that you have, all the dialogue options Nelly, you have with- this place is giving me the willies, and not the good kind of willies. <laughs> Can I offer you a little comfort and reassurance? We'll save it for the cabin, Buster. 
I think, like the totem, right? Does it show Jessica in her underwear regardless? Or dependent on, or does that depend on your decisions? Still. Huh. I guess we'll find out. Let's see. I don't think there was anything else down here, so let's keep, keep going. Not sure if we're gonna get to the cabin before I need to go. So, just a heads up. The stream will be ending relatively soon. <laughs> Oh, okay. So the totem shows her in her underwear regardless. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking it's time to go. And check out these clues. And that's basically it for this area. Whoa. This place is like... historical. Holy bat cave. It's gotta be Native American, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a shrine or something. A shrine to what? Nah, it's Josh. It's all Josh. Jesus. This place is a real fixer-upper. I wonder if this is Josh too, actually. I mean, we know we got it, like, you got really, really elaborate, but to what extent, don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna explore the cabin. I know I missed some clues there, because I was so in a hurry to, like, start the fire like Jess wanted, and I missed out on a couple things. So I'll be sure to take my sweet time first. And this is definitely something I missed. What is this? Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit, damn. That was Jessica's mouth torn off. Is that a way she could have died? Oh, that's new. That's new. That's definitely new. You know what? Let's take a look. Sometime after the prospectors. Until a cave in trap. and many hunts. Okay. If you don't get Jess down in her underwear, she admits that she's actually really insecure. Oh, that does add a lot of depth to her character. Yeah. Yeah, that does. Hmm. I guess she was overcompensating for that insecurity by being so, like, confident on the outside. Oh, she gets her jaw ripped off if I choose to be safe. That's... That sucks. <laughs> Alright, well definitely not gonna choose the safe path. Whoa. You alright? I 
They just saw someone at the cabin. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Don't think I'm gonna be able. I think this is just a setup for a spook, right? Like a jump scare. Let's hey, Jess. Mm-hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? Uh, this posting says there's some brown bears up here sometimes. Oh. Michael, I have the best idea. What? What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> that's that's just dumb. So I went down the path immediately after this, and I thought that I could take some time and go up. What this path over here? But it turns out that it's just a dead end. Well then. Okay. It's one way to go. One way to go only. All right. Yeah, it just goes pretty random. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able. Might be able to get to the part where it leaves off, like she climbs over the the log, and then it just cuts off. <laughs> Watch out, bird brain. Uh, yeah. Just, just answering the mating call. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, you got a lot of love to give. <laughs> <You're> scared. <laughs> Still waiting on the crows. Yeah, still waiting on the crows. Don't know if they're gonna show up. Don't know if picking crows is even gonna do anything. <sighs> Damn it, Josh. Can you have at least cleared out the path before sending us up here? <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off! Hey, Mike! You got something on your face! Ah. Boo! Okay, okay. Well, that's how it's gonna be! Yes? Alright, so that's all I can stream for today. I gotta get ready and head on out. Um, thank you all for joining me. This was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, um, for those that were here, thank you for being here for the first time I've ever streamed in my life. So, uh, sorry if that was kind of an awkward experience. I don't know if I'm gonna get any better. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'll see some of you tomorrow. If you can't make it, that's chill. Um, I'll be posting it on YouTube anyway. I'll be uploading this on YouTube um, pretty much as soon as I stop it. Don't know when it's going to be ready in full HD though. So yeah, take it easy, y'all. No, thank you all for being here. No problem. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah, so take it easy. Have a good weekend. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I gotta figure out. So I figured out how to stream to Twitch. Now I gotta figure out how to like use Twitch itself apparently. Like I wasn't even like registered as playing Until Dawn and all that stuff. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Yeah. Bye y'all.